Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up this dashboard page in my Inkpocket Planner for the month of September. There are a lot of sections in here. Let's go through it one by one and I'm not gonna be using a couple of them. I will let you know which ones those are. So first, I wanna uh, write down the to-dos for this month that I have and I do have some like random bits and pieces here. These are not usually in this section. I add things that I regularly do and some additional things for that particular month. For this month, I'm just adding some random bits. First thing that I want to do is drop off some books. So the other day when I was on my walk, I saw some books, um, I saw a stand wherein there were free books, so I thought I could go drop some off there, the ones that I've already read. And then what I want to write down is full moon ritual. I actually do this on my own, but this time a friend of mine wanted to join in, so I need to plan that. We are actually planning it together and we just need to see how to get that done. And then another thing is closet organization for fall. The temperature has already, like, it's, it's definitely feeling a lot cooler than the summer temperature. So I need to get the closet ready because right now I have, I didn't unpack any of my uh, fall or winter clothes when I moved here. I moved here in the beginning of spring. So yeah, I just need to pack up all my summer stuff and then organize all my fall clothing. So I need to do that. And then another thing I need to do is research houses because I will be moving again at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. When, when I moved here, I knew that this was, this is, this was just a temporary home. And I'm really excited to look for something new, something more nicer and move and yeah, move at the end of this year. And really exciting stuff that I'm looking forward to this month is podcast planning for season two. Um, so basically I am planning for a new format and going forward what i'm gonna do with my podcast is upload episodes in seasons so every season is gonna have a specific theme and there would be a certain number of episodes either eight or ten weekly episodes and then i'm gonna take a break plan for the season three then that would be around for eight to ten weeks and then it just keeps going on so i thought um that would be a good idea and i'm bringing up a new format as well so i need to get the planning done in this month so that from next month onwards the podcast episodes can go live okay we're good with the um uh, to do stuff and then next is priorities so i have three priorities for this month and it's good the space is fine so one is my yoga practice i have been enjoying early morning uh, yoga practices especially outside if it's not raining it's just so cool and nice and not many people are awake so it's very silent as well all you hear is the uh, water sounds from the lake that's very close by and then birds chirping leaves this is all you hear so that's really nice and i'm enjoying that and i want to prioritize it make sure i do it as much as i can and as soon as i finish my yoga practice i just meditate uh, i use guided meditation and then another priority is youtube i'm coming back to filming these videos after quite some time now so i want to prioritize that get back into the groove and upload videos so i'm excited for that as well so we're good with to do's as well as priorities 
and let's move on to intentions and agendas so for this actually i wanted to use a sticker and this month i really want to uh you know last few months have been i took a long break from social media so i got some different perspective and i want to use this month to anchor my actions and my intentions to my purpose just because i'm back i don't want to overdo it and get exhausted i just want to take things one day at a time and keep my routine simple just because again i've started filming these videos i don't want to burden myself and sort of um replace the tasks that i really like doing with social media work so i just wanted to add this sticker which says don't be perfect just be yourself and the thing that i want to write here is one day at a time and let's see let's write use this month to anchor actions and purpose and okay most important thing is to not over complicate things and just keep them simple okay so that's my intention for this particular month and new things to try uh, i went and i bought i think last week or two weeks back i bought a paint set and few brushes and a palette and uh, uh a, i don't know what do you call that a sketchbook so i bought that and i'm really excited to try i used to paint really like long long time ago I think more than 10 years ago so I'm excited to get back it's a little bit uh, I feel a little bit nervous but I definitely want to try and go back to it and by the way uh, I've bought gouache paintings so this is the first time that I'm trying this type of a painting so I'm gonna write that here gouache painting and let's see there is some stickers in this wellness sticker book which is about i think it says a be creative or something like that let's see yep here it is it is i am looking forward to actually i didn't know what to write in this section but i think i'm gonna write something just elaborate on painting to remind myself about why i chose this and why i want to paint so the main reason i want to paint is if you have watched uh, videos that i uploaded during the beginning of year my word of the year is experiment so this is a way in which I want to experiment. So I'm going to write experimenting with art and I want to explore art to express myself and my thoughts i used to sketch a lot i used to paint a lot i used to you know with the pencil colors uh, shading i used to do that a lot i don't know what happened after i started working i guess again like almost 10 years back I, I sort of lost touch with all of them but I have found different ways to be creative with bullet journaling with um, 
you know digital art with these planners and stickers i do want to you know sort of go and explore this area again okay and let's see if there's any sticker that i can add in there note to sell and i think with I'm gonna put it here at the top. Not often. Okay, and this section I actually wanna use it for the books that I wanna read this month. Label stickers. I'm gonna use this one and this one. And the reason why I'm choosing these sort of colors is because of the decorative stickers that I want to use. Those are in pastel colors, so I just want to stick to minimal colors. Yeah, so this is for books. And another sticker that I wanted to add is, it says reading read a book I'm gonna put this here and two books I have one is called House of Gold this is a book I saw I bought it last weekend it's it's a story during the first world war and I really uh, like stories about that time. It's it's just a little bit fascinating. So I'm gonna read that. And then the next thing I wanna read is one of my favorite authors called Sophie Kinsella. Her fiction books are really good. And it's, it's very, you know, lighthearted, not too serious, bits of comedy. So it's just a refresher and I'm gonna read that, which is Shopaholic to the Stars. Okay, these are the two books that I wanna read. And then this section, actually I think I'll keep it for the full moon, uh, for, for the full moon ritual, one of the things that I do is <clears throat> excuse me do a tarot reading or an oracle card reading so i want to i want to sort of write the message that i got from the message that i'm going to get from that card or the card itself over here so well let's just put that Okay, with regards to tracker, I am not gonna even attempt to use it because for four months, I noticed that this just messes up my system. When I'm not using it, I do my habits pretty like regularly and I have no issues with my consistency. It's only when I start tracking and when I see the details and I feel like I need to do it every single day and it just bothers me a lot that uh, this wouldn't be filled and I don't know whenever I use this tracker I my habits just mess up so I'm not going to use it and then with bills I actually track my bills in the monthly view I think what I'm going to start doing is tracking them here itself from next month onwards so that I can use the space for something else because I don't want to leave this empty because I'm already leaving this one. I've used this in the past for different reasons. One was to write down the list of movies that I would have watched that month and sort of give it a rating to see how good or bad it is. But I don't know, I don't want to do that this month. So yeah now let's i was actually going to end the video but i realized that i didn't add stickers so i wanted to add these larger stickers because the colors go well with the theme here and i've also used this here, the different versions of this 
similar stickers so let's see let's bring in this blue color i actually liked how this turned out especially here in this habit tracker section i thought i'm just gonna leave it blank but i kind of liked how it looked floral stickers just makes it better i really like it and yeah i think i will stop it here if not i know i'm gonna add stickers here as well i don't want to overwhelm this page it's already to the you know it's the stickers are already placed to the max so i don't want to add more stickers here but yeah i think i am done so that's it for today's video and i'll see you in my next one bye